Hi LT, my name is Jen Tyrell and I have deep gratitude and appreciation for the opportunity to serve our students, staff, families, and the community as principal of Lyons Township High School. I am excited about continuing our partnership as we set the standard, not just in the academic opportunities and the social emotional support that we provide our students, but in the amazing co-curricular and athletic offerings that we have here at LT. It is our mission to honor our tradition of excellence, foster innovation, and empower all students in their quest for a fulfilling life as we affirm our motto, Vita Plena. Our students will simultaneously have an inspiring experience at LT while preparing for their post-secondary goals. We strive to be an LT where all of our students feel a sense of belonging and know that for many of our students, co-curricular and athletic participation plays a key role in their connection to LT and the type of LT experience they have. In fact, we feel so strongly about participation in co-curricular and athletic programs that we encourage each student to find at least one activity, athletic team, or organization to be part of here at LT. And believe me, we know that many of our students will get connected to multiple groups during their LT experience. Within this video, you will hear from Student Council President Zayden Hickenbottom. He is an amazing LT student and will share a bit about the importance of getting involved and making responsible decisions while at LT. Then, our Athletic Director, Mr. John Grunke, will share about the LT Co-Curricular Code of Conduct. Finally, Mr. Peter Geddes, Director of Student Activities at LT, will share more about the importance of getting involved at LT. He will even share a bit of national research that supports the fact that students who get involved not only have a richer high school experience, but do better academically while in high school and beyond. Mr. Geddes will also talk a bit about our upcoming co-curricular night. Thank you so much for taking the time to review this video. I wish all of our students and families a safe, successful, and fun year. We cannot wait to see you at our co-curricular night on August 24th. And personally, I can't wait to see all of our students thrive as they explore their passions within our co-curricular and athletic programs this year. We are LT. Hi, I'm Zayden Hickenbottom, and I'm your student council president for the 2022-2023 school year. Getting involved at LT is essential to forming connections, memories, and experiences that will go beyond your high school career. LT has the most diverse offerings out of all the high schools that I've heard of. There is something for everyone here, and I mean everyone, to all my freshmen and everyone else, of course. My biggest advice is to not be afraid. Don't be afraid to ask questions about clubs or sports, email a teacher, drag your friends with you, or go by yourself to a meeting or practice. There are plenty of staff members and e even other students who are willing to help you. Getting involved right away is so incredibly important, it sets you up for success both now and for the next four years to come and beyond. You meet your best friends here, you make connections with teachers and staff, and you create endless memories and opportunities for, your, for yourself. My LT experience has been amazing since my first day I stepped in. And you want to know the reason why? It's because I got involved. I was afraid to go to my first student council meeting, but now I'm president. You never know what opportunities are waiting for you just a step away. Getting involved isn't the only way to thrive here at LT. It's also about making responsible decisions that means hanging around people you trust, saying no to substance abuse, and teaching others the importance of being drug and alcohol free. Every decision you make affects your life in some way, big or small. If you have people in your life who are pressuring you to do something or don't treat you with respect, they aren't right for you. For you. Talk to those you feel comfortable with about these topics to make you more aware of issues that come with drug and alcohol abuse and to educate your peers and those you trust. Hundreds of people at the school will be there right by your side to support you through everything. You will learn essential lessons if you make the right decisions and stand up for yourself. Remember, you have a voice here at LT, and if you feel the need to share something, share it. Getting involved and making the right decisions sets you up for the best four years of your life. Cherish every day and walk into these halls from the first day of school to your graduation. Thank you and have a great co-curricular night. And remember, we are LT. My name is John Grunke and I am the Athletic Director here at Lyons Township High School. My role in the presentation is an explanation of the co-curricular code of conduct. Our code of conduct is the agreement that all of our students pledge to make good decisions while they are on a club, on a team, or in an activity. Our goal is to have zero code of conduct violations over the course of the school year. However, if a code of conduct violation happens, we want to be clear about how it works. 
First, there are some general understandings that go along with the co-curricular code of conduct. First, participation is a privilege, not a right. Failure to abide by the code of conduct will result in consequences. Anyone on a team or club must abide by the code. There are eight expectations listed in the code of conduct, and they're pretty straightforward. They are, students should regularly attend school, practice, and events, participants that are expected to attend school on the day of the activity. The IHSA requires a student to pass at least 25 credit hours, which is five classes, the semester prior to participation, and maintain passing grades in five classes while involved in IHSA activities. Students must travel on school arranged transportation for all events away from Lyons Township High School. Students must be responsible for all equipment and or clothing issued for the activity and the return of that equipment at the end of the activity. Students should attend all awards nights. Students should carry their school ID with them at all times. Students should submit an annual physical for participation in athletic activities. Students must adhere to board policy and all rules set forth in the student handbook and display conduct becoming a District 204 representative, including after school, on days when school is not in session, whether on or off school property, and in public communications posted on social media sites. School consequences supersede the Student Activities Code of Conduct when the violation carries a stiffer penalty. The Code of Conduct is broken into three different sections. They are alcohol, steroids, and controlled substances, tobacco, and adherence to school rules and displaying conduct becoming of a District 204 representative, including infractions resulting in suspension. Each violation has consequences for each offense, and they are similar in theme and severity. The code is in place all year long, whether you are in season and even if school is out of session. The expectations are, students will not use alcohol or attend parties where there is underage drinking of alcohol, steroid use, or controlled substances use, and students will not use or possess any tobacco products, including any vaping device, and adherence to school rules and displaying conduct becoming of a District 204 representative. For the first offense, students would lose 10% of their competitive season or two contests, whichever is less. Students will still attend practices. They just can't play in their games. Students also need to attend a school-approved chemical education program. For the second offense, student will lose co-curricular participation for one calendar year. If the student agrees to an assessment to a school approved program and follows the program's recommendations at the family's expense, the suspension can be reduced to six weeks. Like the first offense, the student can still practice with the team. Please note that the suspension can fall over more than one season or activity. The third offense leads to loss of all co-curricular participation for one calendar year and this includes practices. The fourth offense leads to a termination of all co-curricular opportunities for the remainder of the high school career. So in summary, your high school years go too fast. Don't lose opportunities for participation because of a bad decision. Hopefully you can use the code, your parents, your coaches, as excuses to stay away from any of these problems. Please talk to your parents before you get into a bad situation so that you have a plan as to how you'll remove yourself from that party or unsupervised gathering with drugs or alcohol. The decision to stay tobacco and alcohol free is not a one-time decision. Every night or every weekend, you need to continue to make that decision. Let us know what we can do to help you make the right decision. Hi, I'm Peter Geddes, LT's Director of Student Activities. I'm blessed to work with and on behalf of students in creating some of their most enduring memories here at LT. Whether a weekly club meeting, a team fundraiser, or a highlight event like the all-school assembly or senior prom, I trust that you will create those unforgettable experiences that carry with you for the rest of your life. Getting involved at LT is about more than just having a good time, though. You get to find your people, develop new and deeper relationships with LT staff members, and set yourself up for success in high school and beyond. Participation in student activities reduces dropout rates, increases standardized test scores, boosts GPA, promotes college and career success, develops social and emotional skills, and leads to students making better choices. The kind of choices that Zayden and Mr. Grunke referred to earlier. Now research also demonstrates again and again 
that students who are involved in extracurricular activities consistently perform better academically and report a more fulfilling high school experience. National research has shown that students who participate in one or more student activities see standardized test results that are 4% better in reading and 5.7% better in math than those who do not participate. Students who participate in one or more activities throughout high school are 80% more likely to volunteer, 70% more likely to attend college, and 60% more likely to vote. A 2021 study by the Illinois State Board of Education found that participation in two or more activities is more predictive of post-secondary success than one's SAT score. And finally, much closer to home, LT students who participate in activities earn a GPA three quarters of a point higher than their non-participating peers. Simply put, students who don't participate in the arts, athletics, or activities miss out on valuable opportunities that set them up to thrive in high school and beyond. And co-curricular night is your first step in the quest toward a fulfilling life. We invite you to set aside the evening of August 24th, starting at 7 p.m., where you will find most of our 140 plus athletics and activities represented. Take your time walking around at the activity fair in the South Campus Fieldhouse, talking to representatives of the clubs and teams that interest, intrigue, and inspire you. On behalf of Zayden, Dr. Tyrell, and Mr. Grunke, I thank you for your time, and we look forward to seeing you there.